Welcome back to Blackthorn Prod and to the Creating Halloween Horror series. My name is Noah Kalis, a passionate indie game developer, and today I will show you my second horrific October creation, the Blood Blob. For this design, I wanted to create something bright and gory, a sick, squishy creature made out of blood. Now, I am a huge fan of the amazing indie game, The Binding of Isaac. There is something about the dark and violent cartoony graphics and animations that gets my creative juices flowing. And so I wanted to make a character in a slightly similar style to the host of abominations found inside the Binding of Isaac. Contrary to the pint-sized fanatic that I smoothly painted, I went for a crisp cartoon look with the blood blob, giving the monster a thick, black outline and using simple, hard shadows. Now, when creating such a character, there are three main steps that I go through. Step one, you guessed it, is the sketching phase. This is when I get the rough look of the character down on one layer inside of Photoshop. It's a relaxing, fun process that can also be done on paper. Using Photoshop and the Wacom tablet works best for me. The eraser doesn't leave any trace or crumple the piece of paper. I can use Ctrl Z if I miss a line and wields the power of copy and paste to make small tweaks and variations to a sketch. Now once the sketch is complete, I begin step 2, the inking stage. This is a no-brainer. I just went over all the sketched lines with a sharp, dark brush on a new layer in Photoshop. Since I want to animate the character afterwards, I need to make sure to ink all the different parts on separate layers. And finally, we have step 3, colouring. This is when the character starts to pop. I filled in the whole design with one colour and then added hard shadows, highlights and little white specular dots to give a wet, sticky feeling. I knew I wanted the character to be on a simple, dark background, and I still wanted that crisp, cartoony outline, so I took a white brush and bordered the drawing so we can clearly see its silhouette in a dark environment. I then added little black eyes crying blood and small dark red veins covering the blob-like heads, giving the monster a slightly stretched look, as if he might explode if we punctured it with a needle. Once the design was complete, I brought it inside of Unity to begin work on the animation. As I hinted earlier, I wanted this character to explode in a splash of blood. To warm up, I made an idle animation where the character slowly squashes and stretches. This will be the first stage of his explosion process. I then made a second idle animation called The Beat, where the blood blob starts having twitches like a heart beating. And finally, I made the explosion animation, where the monster swells up and eventually goes pop. Of course, I now needed to make the blood splash, so I went back inside of Photoshop and sketched a cartoony, crisp blood splash. I then imported it inside of Unity and added it to the explosion animation. I made it look as if the blood is trickling down thanks to the awesome new Unity feature, the layer mask. The final step was creating a small C-sharp script that makes the blood blob play the idle animation, then the beat animation, and lastly, the gory explosion. And there we go, that's my second Halloween horror, the blood blob. Now I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to be awesome by hitting the like and subscribe buttons. If you would like to see me create a certain Halloween horror, post away in the comment section below and I will be delighted to begin work on it. Alright, see you on the 7th of October for the Halloween horror number 3. Thanks so much for watching, cheers!